Миранда поединка во втором легчайшем весе. В синем углу ринга боксер из Танзании. Ему 24 года, рост 161 сантиметр, вес 53 килограмма 950 граммов. На профессиональном ринге провел 11 боев, одержал в них 7 побед, две из которых нокаутом, потерпел 3 поражения и в одном бою зафиксирована ничья. In the blue corner, 24 years old, his high 161, weighed in 53.95 kilos, professional record, 11 bouts, 7 victories, 2 victories by knockout, 3 defeats and 1 draw. From Tanzania, Oscar Richard Duke. Красный угол ринга, боксеру 30 лет, рост 165 сантиметров. Вес 54 килограмма 100 граммов. Провел 25 боев. Одержал в них 22 победы, 11 из которых нокаутом. Потерпел всего лишь два поражения. И в одном бою была зафиксирована ничья. Чемпион WB Азии и WB Наба в легчайшем весе из России, из Подольска, Николай Потапов! Рефери в ринге Александр Калинкин. Time for our main event here from the USC Soviet Wings, alive on the Salida Promotions YouTube channel. Corey Erdman on the call here for you. Nikolai Potapov, the top-ranked Bantamweight, taking on Oscar Richard. And it is the chance of a lifetime for Oscar Richard, who two fights ago was fighting in minimum weight bouts in Tanzania to be taking on Potapov, who right now is ranked number seven by the IBF, number three by the WBO, and also in the top 15 of the WBC. In particular, chasing after those belts in the IBF and the WBO held by Naoa Inoue and John Riel Casimero, respectively. Casimero, at least for now, of course, is about coming up soon against Nonito Donaire. And those are the types of names that Potapov is eyeing up. He needs to be victorious here tonight and uh, needs to look impressive as well to keep some momentum and some degree of buzz behind his name. He's been back fighting in Russia after spending several years training at the Kronk Gym in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, the pandemic forced him back home to Russia where he has been able to remain busy and in fact move up in the rankings even since last December when we saw him against Alexander Horischuk. Scored a shutout unanimous decision over Horischuk in that one. Good body shot there from Potapov. And Richard coming way up in weight for this one, which is being contested at 122. Dropped a six round majority decision to Mustafa Upasi in August of last year. That bout was at 112. And again, not that long ago, was fighting at 105. Right, giving a, a good account of himself, actually, here in the early going. Managing to push Potapov back there. 45 seconds remaining in the opening round. Potapov, very accurate with those body shots. And those could be the distance, for, or the difference, excuse me, for a fighter built to make 105, or able to make 105, to be taking body shots from a very good Bantamweight who can comfortably fight out 122 as well. You wonder how long Richard can withstand those shots. Listen to 
Seconds tick away here in the opening round of our main event. Round two begins here in our main event. It is Nikolai Potapov and Oscar Richard. Potapov chasing after a title shot at Bantamweight. He says plan A would be a crack at one of the major or the, uh, the secondary title holders. So the names I'd mentioned, either Inouye or Casimero, maybe Rigondeau. But plan B would be a rematch with Joshua Greer, to whom he Dropped a uh, controversial decision, that being one of the blemishes on his record, along with the loss to Omar Narvaez, which uh, is another forgivable one, given that Narvaez is really one of, one of the best flyweights, super flyweights of his generation. And Potapov was still young in his career. Narvaez has been somewhat overshadowed as the years have gone on. And the other blemish, shall we call it that, is a draw to Stefan Young, who's gone on to a pretty good career as well in a, a showbox matchup. And obviously that means that that's usually two prospects being matched up on TV when maybe otherwise they wouldn't. 50-50 matchups made by Showtime's uh, Gordon Hall. Good uppercut to the body there by Nikolai Potapov. Potapov now starting to use his physicality, starting to push Richard back. Hard body shots there. See Richard taking a deep breath. Potapov trying to pivot and land that left hook up top. Instead he brings it downstairs. Oscar Richard from the Nakos Boxing Gym in Tanzania. And we've been seeing Tanzanian contingents being brought in here for shows presented by Shamo Boxing on the last Shamo Boxing broadcast put on by uh, Salida Promotions. We saw Mashak Mwakamwa, Rafima Maimu, and Halima Vunjabe who fought Anna Levina in the main event of our last broadcast. Good counter left hook from Potapov ducking under those swinging shots from Oscar Richard, who does some work to the body of his own. And Oscar Richard not looking entirely out of his depth here in the early going against a world caliber bantamweight in Nikolai Potapov.
Round three underway of our main event. And you'd be forgiven if you thought that Oscar Richard wouldn't make it this far. Stop, stop. Into the bout, Nikolai Potapov has okay. Fuck. certainly been getting the best of him. But again, Oscar Richard not looking entirely out of his depth for a fighter who's seven, th seven and three and quite recently has been fighting at minimum weight. It's uh, actually an admirable effort from uh, Richard so far. Potapov, again, trying to stay busy and keep active as he continues to campaign for a title shot at 118. Potapov getting to fight in his hometown for the uh, second time in a row. And starting to kind of toy with Richard a little bit on the inside there, starting to play around some fancy rolls and uppercuts. He uh, probably wouldn't try in another circumstance. That body shot backed up Richard. Good uppercut from Potapov. During his time with uh, Sugar Hill at the Kronk in Detroit, Potapov really learned to sit down on his shots. And he's carried some of that tutelage now back to Russia. 11 knockouts in his 22 wins, but you can see there's some zip behind those shots, particularly those left hooks to the body. Missing with that sweeping right hand to the body, but comes back with lead right hand. Showing some nifty defense here. Slipping out of the way of the offerings from Oscar Richard. A much more hittable opponent for Nikolai Potapov than he had last time in Alexander Harischuk, who uh, had no interest in engaging whatsoever, so Potapov, I'm sure, enjoying himself much more here tonight in our main event. Round four underway. It's our uh, in-house cut man, hat and beard, working the corner of Oscar Richard for this main event. As Nikolai Potapov keeping busy and looking towards Potential title opportunities. Top 15 of the WBC, or in number seven by the IBF, number three by the WBO.
Filipov now trying to work on the inside a little more, use his size, his strength advantage. Naturally, a, a much bigger man than Oscar Richard, who stands 5'3 and a half, and is still capable of weighing in under 105. Potapov, meanwhile, very physically strong fighter. He also likes to compete in CrossFit outside of boxing. He trains six times a week. Good overhand right, counter shot from Potapov. Every morning he wakes up, he drives his daughter to school, and he goes uh, directly to the gym for uh, at least two sessions a day. the sense that Potapov is looking for that highlight reel shot. In this matchup, I'm sure he sensed an opportunity for one. Again, a much different look for Potapov than last time out against Alexander Hurischuk, who uh, spoiled and spoiled his way to the finish line. A, uh, a frustrating night for Potapov, although the scorecards indeed read a complete wipeout, a shutout for him, but hard to feel good after an outing like that. Hard to feel good after eating an uppercut that knocks your mouthpiece out. Just a couple seconds remaining in this round as the mouthpiece was dislodged by a big uppercut from Potapov. Round five of our eight round main event between Nikolai Potapov, a world ranked Bantamweight, part of the Salida Promotions stable. Of course, you're watching here on the Salida Promotions YouTube channel. Taking on Oscar Richard, the six and, excuse me, seven and three underdog from Tanzania, who is getting a very unexpected opportunity at a name fighter like Potapov. Richard has displayed good stamina in the past. and As with fighters from countries that take their domestic scene seriously, he's fought in a couple national title bouts where he's had to go the 10 round distance. So. Although he's only 10 fights into his pro career, he has a fair amount of rounds under his belt. Fighters just developed differently in countries like Tanzania. Where many fighters don't get opportunities outside of the country, so domestic level fights National titles like that are very meaningful. And also, losses don't quite mean the same thing when you're developing a prospect in other parts of the world that is paramount to keep them undefeated until a certain point in order to tell the public that they're a fighter worth watching. That's not the case. 
uh, everywhere in the world. Oh, big uppercut again. Pops the head back of Oscar Richard. You saw that same shot dislodge the mouthpiece at the end of round four. Richard has taken these shots very well. He's taken a lot of hard shots, but we haven't really seen him wobbled. We've seen him backed up by a body shot. We've seen the mouthpiece go flying, but Richard has perhaps surprisingly been able to withstand the punishment from Potapov, who is just putting it on him here in the fifth round. Round six of a scheduled eight here in our main event between Nikolai Potapov and Oscar Richard. Oscar Richard proving surprisingly durable. Or a fighter who was just seven and three coming into this fight is fighting in. Uh, Domestic level fights in Tanzania at 112, at 105. But he's been giving honest rounds to Potapov. And although he's been uh, taking a lot of punishment, hasn't yet appeared visually hurt or bothered by any of these shots. And Potapov, I'm sure, would like to change that. Or he'd like to avoid any criticism for uh, letting this one go too far. But again, sometimes you you get in there with someone who just take a punch and uh, I think he's found someone in Oscar Richard who is double tough. Potapov may want to go back to the body work. That's where, if there was an inkling of relent in uh, Richard, it was after a couple of those hard body shots that Potapov landed. Now it's Richard trying to go downstairs. Final minute here of round six. Get the sense over the last minute or so, Potapov maybe stepping off the gas a little bit. happen in fights when fighters kind of make the decision or maybe they're okay with uh, with getting the rounds in and working on some technical aspects and perhaps after uh, really landing some of his very best shots and not getting Richard out of there maybe Potapov is satisfied 
was going the eight round distance because he's been mostly working off his jab for the last minute, minute and a half, and doing the same as we come to the bell. Two rounds to go in our main event. Thank everyone for tuning in here on the uh, Salida Promotions YouTube channel. For another day of boxing presented by Shamo Boxing Promotions. Nikolai Potapov staying busy here as he looks towards potential title opportunities. As he sits well in the rankings of Three of the sanctioning bodies. And Oscar Richard, I think, is already, just by virtue of making it here to round seven, seen an increase in his stock. After making it to the seventh round. For the fighter of the caliber of Nikolai Potapov, you could see Richard getting some more calls internationally for some opportunities. And not to mention back home where he'll continue to compete for national level titles. Maybe command a little bit more money as well. getting his second straight opportunity to fight at home in Moscow. <laughs> See if he can give the fans something to cheer about here in the final four minutes or so of this contest. Ooh, good uppercut there from Oscar Richard. It's been Potapov who's been uh, connecting on the big uppercuts for the majority of this fight. And there's Oscar Richard with a right hand as well. But Richard's got a couple clips for the highlight reel to pluck out of this very brave and gutsy effort. Coming up to fight at 122. Well above his natural weight and where he's most comfortable and giving rounds to Potapov.
eighth and final round of our main event. And really, uh, the story now is can Oscar Richard go the distance with uh, Nikolai Potapov? And provided it uh, goes that far, it's a, a foregone conclusion that Potapov will win a decision here. But Richard making the leap up from 105, 112, all the way up to 122 against a ranked fighter like Potapov and going the distance. This is definitely a nice story. Potapov seems to be you know, kind of going through the motions here a little bit. He kind of noticed around round five or six, Potapov starting to work off the back foot a little bit more, focusing primarily on the jab. We'll see if in the eighth and final round, if he'll uh, give it another go in terms of trying to get Richard out of there. But uh, he was certainly stepping on the gas early in this fight, connected with a lot of hard body shots, a lot of good flush uppercuts, and Richard just would not budge. Another good body shot from Potapov. Stiff jab from Potapov. A little more zip on the shots from him in this eighth and final round. Potapov being warned to, uh, to watch his head. Two fights ago, he suffered a, a nasty cut that took him out of action for a little while in uh, combination with uh, the pandemic and the struggles that came with uh, scheduling bouts in the midst of that, in the deepest depths of it. Uh, not looking to jeopardize any future schedulings here in the final minute with any clashes of heads. But he is picking up the tempo a little bit here. And the fans encouraging him to do so as he rips another body shot. And you wonder if he had kept up this tempo throughout the entire round, excuse me, throughout the entire bout, what would have happened, but Oscar Richard could see the finish line, and that would be a victory in itself for him. Five. More uppercuts from Potapov, a body shot, final 10 seconds of our main event. And that will do it. So Oscar Richard manages to go the distance with Nikolai Potapov, the world-ranked Bantamweight, here in our main event. And the winner by unanimous decision, Nikolai Potapa, Russia, Podolsk, красный угол. So Nikolai Potapov picks up a victory here in our main event against a, a very durable, very courageous Oscar Richard. And now we'll hear from Potapov. Всем спасибо за поддержку, спасибо моей команде. И отдельно я бы хотел сказать благодарность и большое спасибо это Алексею Маслову, который сейчас находится в зале, и Храброву Антону, компании ССК. Спасибо, ребята. Николай Потапов! Uh, Nikolai Potapov improves to 23, two 